This from the 33rd team, that's a group of former NFL executives, scouts, personnel people. Nine biggest steals of the NFL draft and uh, third round, pick 74, Cedric Tillman uh, for the Browns. You see uh, also on that list uh, Will Levis, Joey Porter Jr., Michael Meyer, um, Jalen Hyatt, who went a pick before him. Uh, Tucker Craft, uh, among others. Uh, with that, let's welcome in Tim Bielek from The Plain Dealer as well as Cleveland.com. Tim, I know a lot of Browns fans wanted Jalen Hyatt, um, who it appears the Giants traded up to uh, make sure the Browns couldn't take. Um, Tillman might have been their guy all along, though. He, this is a guy that was projected to go second round, might have even been higher if he hadn't been hurt um, most of last season. Yeah, I mean, going into that 2022 season, uh, you could argue that he was Tennessee's best receiver. I mean, he just come up a thousand yard season for the Volunteers. I think it was 12 touchdowns he had that year. And then, you know, 2022, he gets hurt, has that high ankle, high ankle sprain, misses six games, has surgery on it. And that kind of opened the door for, for Jalen Hyatt to essentially become Jalen Hyatt and become the player he is. So I think in that way, every a lot of people kind of forgot about Cedric Tillman. You know, outside of the draft experts, you know, those guys that still had him the second round he's such a different player from jail and high you know looking at his measurables you know his height weight some of the ways he plays similar to t higgins of the Bengals. now if he can become anywhere close to what t higgins is this is a this is a steal of a pick but i think what the browns are hoping for is a guy who can play the perimeter can win those 50 50 balls he's got height he's got incredible hands maybe one day he takes over a starting job from amari cooper donovan peoples jones you know, if they can't, st if they're not with the team in the next year or two, maybe he takes one of their jobs. But I think, you know, there's a lot to like about Tillman. I think we all kind of latch on to the idea that if they're going receiver, they were going with the speed receiver. So it was kind of interesting that they went for Tillman. Also, the fact that he was 23 years old. And, you know, we've talked so long about the age guardrails that I think, you know, Tillman was kind of a player, at least for Browns fans, that kind of slipped through the cracks there. Yeah, and, and I'm with you. 6'3", 200 and... 15, 213, whatever it is, that's a guy you split him out and you, you get a smaller cornerback on him and he catches contested balls. That screams red zone target. Uh, that's something the Browns def definitely can use.